Well, hello there everyone, hopefully you can uh, actually see me through the actual swarm of midges that I'm actually sitting in at the moment. Uh, I know you guys, quite a lot of you, got black flies and various things as well, but they're just absolutely incessant. <laughs> but I'll take this off. Uh, so I come out into the woods today, um, situation we've got just now is uh, still in lockdown. Uh, and again, in Scotland, we've still got quite a lot of restrictions and everything as well as to how far we can go. Uh, so what I've decided to do is actually build a shelter um, within the sort of five mile range that I'm actually doing. Hopefully, within a couple of weeks, I'll be able to go back to camp and actually try and get a, um, a wee bit of work done actually over there. Uh, but in the meantime, as I said, I'm just going to build a shelter actually here. Uh, do a bit of baking. Uh, got myself a Petromax and Dutch oven. Uh, so I'm going to give it a try uh, today more than anything else. Now, everyone knows how bad a cook I actually am. Uh, and I just want to make that absolutely clear. I've been criticised over the last few while about your burgers are too thick, your this is too thin, whatever it is. I cannot cook, but I'm trying my damnedest and just having a bit of laugh along the way. Uh, so planning on actually doing bread, which I know is pretty adventurous, uh, but I'm going to give it a wee bash more than anything else. Um, live and learn, that's really what, I, what I'd like to say. But as I said, I'm just going to go off and actually um, start getting some materials, etc. Uh, for the actual shelter. Um, so I've picked this actual place, I've been here before, I've actually shot a video here before as well, so I know the location quite well, uh, and as I said, it's not that far from my house. Okay, so it's going to get cracking just now. So this is generally uh, sort of more birch and all that sort of things in this particular forest. Um, but there is a pine forest just across the actual uh, the way. Um, so I might go there for some of the resources. So I'm just having a wee look around just now, see if I can find some uh, sort of dead standing stuff. Because again, the problem with the lights of the uh, birch is when it's dead fall, um, it tends to sort of rot quite quickly. So we'll see what we can try and find actually for the... Uh, the main beams. It's just an A-frame shelter, it's not going to be this, as big as the lights of the shelter that I've got out of Compton. Um, it's more just sort of somewhere where I can come and sort of practice cooking that's not a million miles away from uh, from the house. But beautiful forest. In fact there's one just there. As I said, no leaves in it whatsoever. It's completely dead. So I've spotted another couple as well, so I'll just get them down just now. So I'm going to be trying a slightly different setup today. What I've been finding over the last few while, when I've been going and sort of collecting wood, um, you end up with sort of armfuls of actual wood, but you've got to try and balance the saw and etc. as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and do a hand-free. Um, so I've actually got a belt loop for my actual axe. Uh, and then I've got the uh, canyon boreal saw with the actual case as well. So I can actually just put that over. And I just basically got that there, free hands, it just means I'm actually going to be able to carry as much back as possible. Uh, many times I've actually put the saw down and then it gone, where did I put the saw? Uh, so at least I'll just be able to pack it away again. So there's the actual main frame. So I was quite lucky there were some V's at the top of the 
dead standing uh, wood that I took down. So I've been able to sort of link it all together. So it seems fairly secure. Okay, so now it's a case of going off. I've actually collected some wood already, but it's a case of going off and getting an awful lot more. Okay, that would be the longest time-lapse video ever if there was to video all this um, putting on. So I'll catch up with you. We're going to get the actual main side of one side done and then I'll catch up with you. There we go. Whether I'm going to actually get a time to moss it, I'm not quite sure today, but we'll see how we go. Main thing is I want to get some uh, lunch on. Getting a bit hungry, but no, well pleased with that. That's it from the, the back as well. And I've actually still got some sticks there, so I can actually still do a wee bit of work on it, but I said we'll get some lunch on. Perfect. 
it's a nice length as well just obviously measured out the sort of main pole um so i've actually got probably about another two foot uh, for, un, over the top of my head when i'm actually going to be sleeping in it um so absolutely fantastic a lot of work to do with it obviously before i do the moss and all that sort of things as well but for the purposes of just now spot on so i'm gonna have a wee sleep see you in about 10 minutes
trusty Vaseline. Okay, so this is the bit I'm most nervous about. As I said, bread at home is hard enough without actually doing it at uh, camp. But what I've actually done is I've actually pre-mixed my flour, my yeast, etc. as well, and my salt in here. So I'm just going to put them in here. And what I'll do is I'll put the quantities for the recipe, etc. as well, just down below. Okay, just make a wee well in the middle. And then you add in your olive oil. Oops, forgot my spoon. Add in your water, and the water needs to be warm, not boiling, but a little bit in the warm side. So it's just really a case of actually adding a bit in. Just sort of bringing it into the middle. Now I have been using sort of extra flour just in case you never know. Uh, so it's always better to have it and need it than need it and not have it. And also just extra water just in case as well. Now the quantities 
I had a bit of issue, sort of, this is technically for two small loaves and I'm only really wanting one at the moment but I am actually planning on sort of baking a second so it was basically a case of, but not today uh, so I am sort of making enough for two, if you see what I mean but It's amazing when you watch some of these guys on YouTube and all that sort of things as well they just make it look so easy but I've made a few loaves at home over the last, uh, while we've been in lockdown, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So that's sort of getting to the right consistency. So it's almost time for getting my hands in there. Okay, so that's, <clears throat> I'm happy enough for that. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to prove it. So I'm going to put that in the Dutch oven, which is just slightly in the warm side. This is maybe a wee bit in the big side, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for a wee while. Just near to the fire, not on the fire, but just near the fire. Okay, so let's see if it's <coughs> doubled in size. Ah, oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do, cooking good in the woods, bushcraft tools, go check them out. Just going to knock that back again. Ten minutes. Just really stretching it, just taking the air back out of it. It may sound as if I'm an expert. Ok, 
Okay, happy with that. Just gonna put two tracks on it. And then it's back in the Dutch oven for its second prove. So something else I've actually got myself is <coughs> a trail camera, um, a sort of action camera for wireless. So I was just going out and actually scoped a wee bit round, just actually checking to see uh, what I might be able to sort of find. Um, so what I'm planning on actually doing before I go tonight, I'm actually going to set this up and then uh, we're on our uh, pass in here when we go kayaking tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to stop off and actually try and see if there was actually anything caught. Because I think there is a deer trail uh, not too far from here. Uh, so we'll set up on there, hopefully catch something. See what happens, you never know. Um, so that's the sort of second proof nearly done. Um, so not two mil uh, not a million miles away before I can actually get the uh, coals on the actual Dutch oven and I get the bread, because I am starving, absolutely starving. So looking forward. Okay. Now, <laughs> I should have, in reality, split that so it was actually two so that's a little bit too big for one but we're gonna give that a try so. flower on it. So it should be about sort of 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I have to say a massive respect to the people that do, <laughs> do this like Simon a bloke in the woods and things like that they make it look so easy because I actually find that incredibly hard just knowing when it would be ready etc smell is just to die for. So I'm going to let that sit for a wee while and then hopefully get the paper off. Oh. 
Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. So, I'm seeing it as you're seeing it. Hopefully. The middle is bread. <laughs> That looks okay, not too bad. I'm gonna call that a success. That tastes so good. Well, that worked out okay. But massive respect to these guys that are doing it without any problem whatsoever. Uh, but first time, but practice makes perfect. It's more a case of actually just trying it time and time again. <clears throat> it's more Obviously, with the lights of a Dutch oven, you know, it's trying to understand the temperature for top and bottom uh, and just making sure that it's actually done on top and also the, the, the Dutch oven sort of preheated. Um, so you've actually got it warm before you put the bread in. Uh, but really, really nice, really enjoying it. It's perfect and it's that nice temperature. So as soon as you put the batter on, it sort of melts straight in. Uh, so I'm just going to sit here, finish this and, uh, and then I'll catch up with you this at the end. So just having a real look around just now, try and see if where I can put the actual camera uh, for tonight. As I said, that would be amazing to actually try and pick up. I mean, I've seen some uh, deer droppings, etc. as well. Sort of, there's a trail along here. So <clears throat> try and find a suitable tree. Attacked by a moth. Uh, try and find a suitable tree and I'll actually get it hooked up. Um, and then I said on the way to kayaking tomorrow, uh, I'll sort of pop by and actually see if there's been any anything triggering it. I know there's badgers around here as well. So you never know. So I said I'll get it hooked up. Well, that's me for the day so hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, thoroughly enjoyable from my side of things just absolutely love it shelter building uh, missed it so much uh, it's just been really good fun today really good fun um, almost got the bread sorted um, but again practice makes perfect sort of understanding the Dutch oven or all that sort of things as well uh, more about temperatures but really really enjoyable actually trying and edible I had two pieces of it so it was nice enough um, so just gonna head back now and uh, I said tomorrow I will be coming and getting the trail camera away uh, so hopefully you've got some footage just at the end of some animals. Um, if not, try again next time. Okay, so you take care and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.